Sonali, I have to let you know that you are featured in a column I wrote recently, uh, which is a travelogue, okay? And the travelogue is about, it's, it's, a, it's a mini travelogue on Bhopal. Okay. And I was exploring this aspect of Bhopal, which has a suicide culture for something. Okay. For some reason, there are lots of lakes and lots of people kill themselves. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a huge number, but it's sub sizable. And for some really weird reason sometimes, in the 90s, a guy committed suicide because of you, Sonali. Because they couldn't meet you in Bhopal. And so they, they, they jumped into the lake, the main lake of Bhopal. Do, do, you, do you know this story? This is, this is ये 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 सच है या सच है सच है मुझे मुझे बताया वहां भोपाल के लोगों ने बताया मुझे यू नो उसके बाद कटीना कैफ के लिए भी कोई मर गया नहीं यार हां किसी के लिए ऐसे थोड़ी कर सकते बट इट्स क्रेजी बट इट्स ट्रू इट्स ट्रू इन द 90s I mean, of course, it's a mental health okay. issue. It's more than yeah, yeah. 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 But you, this is the first time you're hearing I'm this. First time I'm hearing. But people in Bhopal talk about this, Sonali. I see. Yeah, it. yeah. I have no idea about it. Well, it happened back in the day. But you know, the '90s were a crazy time, isn't it? Yeah. Like, did you like, did you face anything of the sort around that time? Like crazy fan moments or just people writing to you in blood? You know, these things were yeah. pretty common back then. Yeah, no? yeah. You would get all this fan mail, and you know, uh, there were times when I was like, yeah. Uh, should be tested to see if it is really blood hmm. and then I said you know what actually if it does turn out to be really blood hmm. I'll be shattered yeah. so I think it's better that I don't know and I presume that maybe they're saying it and appreciate it and leave it at that but yeah it was crazy yeah I, I couldn't understand that kind of obsession for somebody because hmm. I think from for me where I come from I, I just feel that how can you put any human being on that kind of a pedestal right because it's a human being and hmm. it's he or she is going to fall off that pedestal because mm. they're human beings. Mm. And uh, so I could never put somebody up on a pedestal to that extent, you know. Mm. So I never understood this kind of But did you, did you, but you know, you were, you were young, you were 18, 19, you are suddenly really, really famous. Yeah. You know, everyone can prepare you for lots of things, but fame is a hard thing to prepare someone for, right? Especially yeah. given that you came from a, what would be a middle class background with not even ambition on, along those lines. Yeah. What was that like? And when I went back home, they saw to it that they grounded me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My parents saw to it that they grounded me. Uh, I think the kind of upbringing I had, mm. which was when you move from uh, city to city, mm. you are constantly breaking into new groups of people in school. Mm. Uh, you are used to being alone. You are mm. used to being by yourself. Mm. You are used to being in a room where people are friends, but you don't know them. Mm. And that can be very... Uh, that kind of peer pressure and wanting to be accepted mm. uh, can make you do a lot of things, you know, mm. sometimes. But because of that kind of an upbringing, I was okay to take my time, open my book, read, and, you know, kind of suss it out and do it slow, uh, you know, mm. get to know people slowly. Mm. And I think that kind of kept me grounded because I was not opening out to people because I just needed to be with people. I You're not dying for validation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And you know, so when, you were, when, when that was happening, then you want to be invited to places, you want to attend the mm. parties, you want to be seen everywhere. Mm. That was not my need. Mm. And I think that kind of kept me at a, you know, it kept me grounded. A lot of people do say that, you know, aap to dikhti nahi hai, to aapke liye role hum bhool gaye, kind of. Oh, role. because they want you to do that. They want you to hang around. Exactly. Right, yeah. right. So that, I was told that a lot also, a lot hmm. of times. Aap to kabhi aati nahi hai, humne bulaya tha, farmhouse pe bhi bula tha, hmm. aap to aai nahi. Hmm. And I'm like, okay, I live with that. But I could live with that because I had been through it for so long since my childhood, you know. Hmm. Every time you're breaking into new groups and... So you start, there are always all kinds of people and children mm. can be very cruel. Mm. So that kind of, you know, you take your time, you see who can be friendly with, who you need to keep your distance from. So that kind of was a uh, heightened uh, kind of understanding was there. And uh, so that kept me grounded. Right, because you know the level of fame that you would have seen in the 90s and you know those, that, that fame is also kind of different from the way it is now, Sonali, in the sense that Progressively, we see far more uh, emphasis on performance, acting, yeah. roles, the quality of the films. That but back then, you only about your stardom, yeah, and your, uh, or what you can call your charisma, your aura, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. it. Was, uh, about that, as long as you had that, the X factor, hmm. because you know, the frankly, hmm. the fact is, my that after seeing all the talent shows and hmm. all of that, also the fact is that you can you can hone your talent. Mm -hmm. But X factor either you have it or you don't. True that. 
True that. That cannot be like you know given to somebody or mm. cultivated. It's there or it's not there. And in some ways, the camera chooses you, right? Yes. I mean, I, I I've been very lucky. I know that camera really loves me, and mm. you know. Uh, uh, I did feel at home when I uh, I didn't know what the camera What is it? Do you remember the first shot that you gave when God for a film? Did it, it, uh, you know, I understood it. But when I stood there and when the lights were on and I looked at the camera, I it never felt alien. Hmm. It just always felt like I was home. Hmm. Strange, but that was bad, what it was. And I had no idea this world existed. Yet it always... But you mean like the still camera or do you mean the moving camera? At that time, the first camera. There was a still, still camera. camera. Yeah. yeah. But what about the moving camera? Uh, Do you remember the first shot that you gave? No, I don't. I don't. Okay. But the, the memories are more of because you know by the time moving camera had happened in ads for me, uh, so I can't remember. Oh, which. got it. Yeah, got it. Yeah. You're already doing ads, yeah, right? Right. Exactly. But the the still camera and and that light and you know just the understanding of how I don't know what it is, but you know how it can. Um, it's 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 like a it's like a hug. Hmm. It's it's very strange. So I I always have felt very comfortable in front of the camera. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.